but against teams that they also lost against. So it's not really a sturdy a sturdy gameplay on Inferno by Virtus Pro. Let's see if NVS can win this first map. It is their map pick and they probably want to start off with a 1-0 lead in this best of three series. It is the upper bracket final of the Counter Pit League brought to you by me. I'm Dabu and obviously also brought to you by Twitch, Sapphire, Vulcan, AMD and Sennheiser last but not least so we will head into the pistol round with um with apex getting the first frag but then getting traded by biali kenny s and snacks will once again trade blows and it's up to uh kiyoshima and and um and happy obviously to clutch this round away from the cts they are in pit or at least kiyoshima is in pit right now he's alone against pasha neo and snacks and they have surrounded him they have him in circle they have him pinned down the bomb is separated from him he's trying to fight his way out of there he definitely has enough bullets to keep shooting like he does right now but it's um yeah it's still not really making anything work for him he goes for the peak in the end neo closes him out and relieves kiyoshima of making the impression that he still tries to win the round one to zero in favor of virtus pro and obviously um i still i still try to read four three one four in lead speak which is something like ella but it's happy obviously but um yeah um nvs with the pistol round lost now on the tech nines haven't planted a bomb either so they will probably save the upcoming round as well they will head into the a apartments and get a trade happy will get the headshot onto viali but pasha with another frag taz now puts kenny s down it's a 2v3 the terrorists are still not out of this round especially as kiyoshima tries to intercept the cts on the rotation he dodges the flash grenade and then goes down to neo but apex in the meantime cleaned up the a bomb set picked up the c4 and now he's on the way towards the middle area probably um tries to separate the cts and goes for the sing single 1v1 situations as neo is not able to get too much damage dealt into apex he puts him down to 28 but the mp9 is obviously not the perfect weapon to go for those long range shots and the second peak will do the trick for neo 2 to 0 in favor of virtus pro Getting a little scared there by the Frenchmen though, as they get themselves a 2v2 situation. And it could have turned out way differently if Kiyoshima only picked up one more frag in Archway. So Taz was complaining about a few legs at the start of this game and he was sarcastically stating that it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I think that it is sarcastically. Yeah, definitely as Neo said it lagged. Let's hope that um, those issues get resolved rather quickly as we are all pumped up for this game. NVS is a little bit cooled off right now. Um, they lost the first two rounds and they are looking at another round that is going to be really hard to get on the board for them. But I think they still did a good job. They did the um, financial damage to Virtus Pro. This one doesn't really count because it was a pissed round, but this one especially makes it hard for Virtus Pro to get that economy that they will probably look forward to having on the CT side. You know, the, the trick, if you reset the CT's money, you can make them force or save in the upcoming round or save two upcoming rounds, and then you get yourself a good streak, you get your own money kicking off. If you lose another round, um, you can still buy up and you should get something going for your squad. Virtus Pro goes for an aggressive peak. Pasha with the MP9 trying to collect some early money. But he's forced away by the terrorists. But he spotted a lot of people over there. So the CTs know what's up. They have four players over at the A bomb site already. Biali firing off those Tech 9 shots. The terrorists know that at least two players are around A short. So they are scared away from their position right now. They are not yet fully committed. They can still pull it back to the B bomb site. The bomb is actually making the its way towards the lower banana part and you will spot them out there calling for the re-rotation by his teammates and falls back into the deeper part, bomb, part of the bomb site and the terrorists with those three men stuck on top of banana right now 45 seconds on the clock so theoretically they could still re-rotate but they will probably not do that anymore mbk with the glock will take point and his teammates will try to get the frags as he draws away the bullets from them 
Let's see if the, it will be successful. MBK gets Sting down already. Neo with a double kill in the round. Trying to find himself, or actually trying to find himself the second as Happy kills Kiyoshima. And Snacks and Neo will pick up the second frag. Each 3-0 to zero in favor of Virtus Pro. And a team kill on Envious. A little hiccup over there. But sometimes it's so cramped in front of the BB bomb that you don't really know which head you're shooting right now am i shooting my teammate or well yeah obviously happy didn't um or probably pulled the trigger before um kishima stepped in his line of fire and is now on the full buy round they have a galil for kenny s right now on the ct side we see a p90 for taz and biali uses the game mechanic to sneak through into the bedroom without being attacked by those sprays Virtus pro setting up an apartment defense and it seems like they have a kind of counter setup going on and get the first frag as well apex now needs to make up for that he gets headshot onto pasha making it a 4v4 but he's low on hp and mbk coming in from short gets himself a 180 degree shot onto snacks double kill for envious 3v2 the cts still have one member inside the a bomb so biali has to delay the terrorist push but he's caught off guard by apex from above envious should get this should get this round on the board even Though they have two members really low on hp you could take them out with a molotov cocktail that is well placed over the good push but the terrorists got themselves into very good after plan positions already they secure each other's back they have uh, kiyoshima close by to the bomb so he can peek and take the battle so to speak he can catch a few bullets without going down instantly and he will in turn make neo go down instantly three to one envious still get the round even though virtus pro had three players committed to apartments arguably taz didn't have the best weapon with the p90 but um envious just outright out fragged virtus pro especially um mbk with that 90 degree shot on the a bomb side or a little more degrees i think it was that was just sick play by mbk basically winning envious the round because he separated the cts from each other made biali be the only one in pit Virtus Pro back on Rifus though. They go for the force by two M4 A1s and AWP for snacks. And they try to hold on to that bomb side. It will be very, very important for them to get this round on the board. Otherwise, NVS will make it a really good streak. Neo with a double kill as he comes back to the A bomb side from library. He makes it a triple on to happy 2v2 situation. Apex tries to get out on top, but Kenny S goes down to Neo, still hanging around in library. And he goes for the ace. He makes it happen for Virtus Pro. Neo puts down his foot and says okay i am done this is the matrix it's my game and i will punish the frenchman for for the thought of winning this round against the polish force neo with the ace on the board he had five frags before that now he's sitting at 10 in only five rounds but well apex is not doing too bad either with seven frags and you have to take into consideration apex is on the so to speak losing squad so um Envious didn't have too many rounds that they were able to get free frags from and stuff like that. So Virtus Pro, with um, that very thrilling round, is still in um, in a good shape. But they lose two players early on in the round. MBK with the C set 75. Suddenly Envious is back on the board with a 1v4 situation. Can Snacks go for it? He probably won't risk his gun, but he could potentially try to resemble Neo's play from library. But obviously, the terrorists are always uh, are already looking for the kill. They are looking to remove that gun. Happy will spot the barrel, obviously, and then go for the wall bang. So NBS is back on the board. 42. They keep the CTs close, and for Virtus Pro, it is a little bit too close for comfort. They are down to low money. They will purchase P250s and armor on Taz just to even out the money throughout their teammates. So they at end up with roughly 2 point or 1.5k across the board so Virtus pro forced on a save and that's the chance that nbs was looking forward kenny s with the first frag onto biali who went for a peek into middle and now it is or should be easy frags in in apartments actually taz gets himself a frag onto apex and then we are still declined to take it to the A bomb side. NBK 
drops himself another one. Pasha with a frag, and this could end up really, really badly. Sadly for Pasha, he ran out of bullets, and MBK was finishing his reload before his, um, before Pasha can do the same. And now it's next being mopped up by NBK. 4 to 3. NVS could have drawn the game if they won the round that Neo snatched away from them. But like this, Virtus Pro is back on the rifles to keep NVS at arm's length, basically. One round separating the two teams, and Virtus Pro goes for two Mech 7s. One for Pasha, one for Snacks. Snacks will take his to the B bombster while Pasha is over at A. And the terrorists will go for some aggressive play over at Banana. Kiyoshima tries to clinch that area of the map that is obviously very important for the terrorists as soon as possible and forces the CTs to fall back a little bit. Especially Snacks with that Mac 7 needs to find a different approach to his gun. He tries to support Neo, who is the one wielding the rifle. And now he's on the rotation towards A as NVS make it quite obvious that they want to take the A bombster by storm. Biali with one frag, but gets traded by MBK. Now he's caught. Behind the tiller, the, the pillar, Tez goes down to happy. Now it's a 4v3, and NVS are falling back behind the smoke. Snacks though with a double kill of the max 7. Makes it go. Oh no, another one goes down. Makes it go to a 3v1, actually. Kiyoshima is sitting in the bottom of middle. He wanted to secure bottom of banana, but then his teammates got completely steamrolled by Snacks with the max 7. Kiyoshima trying to get back into this round. 35 seconds on the clock. The bottom is in the hands of the CTs. They know where he's coming from. He tries to flash himself in, but Neo steps out and takes him out. 5 to 3. Virtus Pro once again win a round that they shouldn't have won, thanks to an amazing individual performance by Snacks this time on top of middle. So we have the two lead fraggers 11 and 7 kills for Neo and Snacks, 8 and 7 for Apex and MBK. NVS still on the buy round, but they are running out of money. So Virtus Pro managed to get this round on the board. They should be set to get a very decent CT halftime score going. On the other side, if NVS can win this round, they could force Virtus Pro into a very bad economic situation, actually, on a save. So it is the Frenchman's chance to make it 5 to 5 and they will open up with the first frag courtesy of Kenny as his AWP who makes himself shine just like we are used to obviously he's one of the best AWP players and um, he is designed to take down everyone that is peeking into middle Neo with the frag on banana though and he will go for the backstab play as well the terrorists are slowed down by a good Molotov good smoke work by Virtus Pro they will completely stall the terrorist movements and Neo is coming in from behind the Frenchmen need to make up their mind as Neo is in terror stairs already he's going for a really sick play but goes down to MBK it's back to a 3v3 and the terrorists don't know if there is any more action coming in from Banana so they will slow down even more to allow the CTs to get more bodies on the A bombster but actually Neo uh, Snacks fell back to the B bomb side and MBK got himself another frag on the board to open up the A bomb side Biali needs to hold on he needs to go clutch right now in pit he has the perfect position to defend himself from the attack of the terrorist but he will jump at the wrong moment disposes or exposes his head to mbk who dispatches of that with a quick bullet of the ak snacks is now alone in the bottom of middle and he will hide away in the in the whack-a-mole position that he already used to save his awp which wasn't that successful in the end as you remember happy um searched for the frag and got it in the end snacks um, needs to go for a more proactive approach in this one and he goes for a few peaks into middle he will actually spot himself mbk and gets at least one more frag on the board now the terrorists know where he's at and they will not go for the kill not necessarily now especially as next hides away into banana but pro will give that round away but at least they have saved an ak and you know People like Neo, Snacks, all of the five players on the Polar side, as well as the Frenchman on the terrorist side, they can do some damage with an AK. Just give them the, the AK, one support player, something next to them, and draw the attention away from them. Give them a spray, get them, get them the entry frag, or maybe just make them hose down people left and right on Banana. Snacks is there, but he has a grenade in his hands as they execute MBK now, making himself look very very good with another double kill on the entrance 
Team NVS just keep with this pro down on the economy and also keep their streaks down. Their mental, their mental state of the poles is probably not looking too well right now, judging by the scoreline. It is five to five. So if they look at the score, what they realize that they didn't didn't really mess up completely, but they were supposed to be in the lead right now. So NVS will exit the bomb side through Banana and we have uh, Pasha in second mid. They won't face off with him though. Nobody will go for another frag. NVS will make it 5 to 5 and save 5 guns together with all the equipment that they managed to save. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. The CTs go for another peak. Kishima gets a frag, but it doesn't change the fact that the terrorists bring 5 weapons to the next round. And look at their economy right now. It is just out of hands. It's still... Well, not yet that out of hand, thanks to Vitus Pro winning around here and there. But um, the terrorists are slowly but surely getting to a state where they manage to buy up easily, even without a bomb planned. So NVS can go for some weird plays if they want to. <laughs> But they don't really need those weird plays. They just send MBK somewhere. Look at him just getting that trip and killing apartments. Virtus Pro had, a, had an idea in mind to control that area and then work on top of that. But MBK put a big stick between their legs or rather between their eyes. One, going for two straight headshots in almost impossible situations. Especially the headshot on the, on the stair player was just insane by NBK. And uh, NBS is once again looking at a very easy round thanks to their entry player who's doing an amazing job right now. Apex spots himself a target but doesn't get the frag. Now it's Kenny S next in line going for that rifle. He knows that removing that will benefit his squad and if he loses his own gun it's not that big of a problem. Oh he actually gets one tag. If it was Quake or something like that it could have been a one shot kill or if he had his AWP ready but it's sadly for for Kenny S he only so to speak had the Tech 9 ready to shoot Neo in the leg it was um, almost enough to take him down but well doesn't matter Virtus Pro save two guns not too big of a deal for Envious right now they have a lot of money in the bank and they have the lead on the terrorist side on Inferno after all, it is their map pick, but still, they are on the terror side and they are not supposed to be in the lead. But look at Neo going for the deep peak into second mid, find, finding himself the frag onto Happy Snacks makes one go down as well. Even the Kiyoshima is able to reply. The terrorist lost two members already, and that allows the CTs to sneak in a little further. Taz is on the on the rotation into construction area, but he doesn't get himself the initial frag, so he shies away. He waits for his teammates to draw the attention away from construction area. Hey, Pex and Kyu will, will mop up those rifle wielding teammates off Taz and he's the last man standing just uh, hanging out there waiting for one of the terrorists to exit the bomb site and maybe get his hands on one of the rifles or one kill and he will get one frag onto Kiyoshima making it a 2v1 and making it a little bit more expensive than they did in the previous round Virtus Pro should feel almost happy about the outcome of the round obviously they looked for um for an upset with those two M4A1s and it didn't look too bad at the start especially with Neo pushing down into second mid over here getting a frag in the bottom of Banana really well played by Virtus but sadly Neo went down straight after that and the second rifle player perished as well so NVS are up 7 to 5 and the initial damage is dealt to Neo who's on the back foot on the B bomb side with his scope Kenny S his counterpart is looking to gain the edge for his squad with an easy frag from the boost position from the logs doesn't happen though so he backs off resets his position and helps his teammates out who already captured a apartments and a short so they will look for the opening frag Bialy and Apex will trade each other Kenny has is taken out of the occasion NVS with another re-rotation and they might run into some trouble Snacks is right behind that let's look 
uh, snacks and see what he's able to do there. The terrorists will pass him by. The liner perfectly gets two kills. NBK, though, once again, the hero for Envious shutting him down and going for the plant as well. 2v3 situation, however, and Virtus Pro could still come back into the round thanks to Snacks' double kill, which um, was a little bit funny, but also well played by him to have the timing right. Envious holding on to the bomb with one in construction site and one in the corner position and happy will get himself the frag onto neo good job by him passion with the refrag onto mbk but happy with another one now he's in a 1v1 situation he still has a flash to work with doesn't slow Tass down and Tass will get the headshot in the end it is Vitus pro getting the defuse just in time the poles will win another round and stay close to envious but they are supposed to be ahead of envious by now the frenchmen are definitely able to buy up again and if they get a bomb plant, they could actually force it up in the last round. Even if they, um, if they don't get the bomb plant in this one, they would definitely have some spare money. They have three players being able to easily purchase a full buy, and they could drop for Happy and Keo. So Envious should feel very good about the outcome of this half, no matter how the last two rounds that we will witness right now will end. Snacks with a long-range Max 7 shot. It seems like it's his magic weapon right now. Kiyoshima goes down after opening up the round for the terrorists, and it is a 4v4 again. Snacks is still on the B-bomb side. He managed to pick up the AWP, and he carries the Max 7 back with him, so he has two weapons at his disposal. And he can go for the first AWP shot, then switch it up for the Max 7. If he spots the terrorist in time, he will try to slow them off. But Apex has not slowed down at all. Just steps through the flames to get a boiling hot headshot onto Snacks. 4v3 now, right now. The CT is on the retake still. Pasha will open it up from construction side. MBK waiting for the right moment to toss up Molotov and save or make the CT save. And that's exactly what they are doing right now. 8-6, to six, the scoreline after this round and NVS are doing a massive massive job on the terrorist side with 16 frags for NBK, 12 frags for Apex and on the other side we have Neo and Snacks with 15 and 13. Virtus Pro's guns will not be contested by NVS, the Frenchmen will focus on their own economy and they figure that it's probably better to to keep their own rifles alive and get a very good sturdy buy in the last round of this first half of the first map in the counter pit league it is the upper bracket semi uh, the, the final actually the upper bracket final the loser of this matchup will face off against tsm who managed to overcome navi in two maps just earlier today you can check all the scores on the various news sites <clears throat> that you know already Virtus Pro with the last effort, Nova for Taz, 5-7 for Snacks, and the Terrors will actually get the first damage. NBK down to 68, which should not trouble him too much. Of course, he's a one-shot headshot kill for any of the rifles in the CT's hands right now, but judging by his performance today, he should be able to take them out quicker than they will take him out. So happy just checking out apartments. NBS once again going for the A execution. A did they even attack the B-bomb side initially? They never went for anything on Banana. They just completely ignored that side at the start of the round. Now Happy will get the frag onto Taz. The Nova wielding CT is out of the occasion. And look at MPK. Just like a hurricane sending bullets left and right. They magically find the heads of the terrorists, uh, of the CTs. And now it is Neo's time to make his bullets magically find some heads. And namely the heads of Apex, Kenny S and MBK. He doesn't even need three headshots. It is... Um, Apex on 12 and MBK on 10 HP and he will spot Kenny S inside the bomb site tossing a Molotov cocktail getting the first shot onto Kenny S the Molotov will draw one of the terrorists out but they are still managing to get control now he goes for the nade kill he could actually end MBK he says another 3 HP and a bomb will blow up in a second MBK manages to win the round just by a slither of his HP slowing Neil down on the defuse and what a round again just trading blows back and forth those rounds have been more than exciting they were heartbreaking at times now look at the um the finish of this half it was really really sick they have one ct just getting the bomb defuse 
Um, then three men split. Then another one v one situation. Neo is really trying to make something happen for his squad, but now he is on the terrorist side together with his teammates. They have a few nades to work with in the hands of Snacks, and they will go for the B execution straight away. Happy uses his teammate to draw away the attention and gets himself two easy headshots before Biali is able to turn around and take him out. Four v three already. Neo and Biali were low on HP already. MBK with the frag before he goes down to Snacks. Kenny S with another reply onto Neo, making it a 3v1 again uh, snacks is able to get himself another frag but the smoke is coming in and uh, the diffuse is coming in in the smoke kenny s will not waste any time snacks ran out of bullets on the usp and just tried to get a knife kill in the smoke the chance knife didn't happen for snacks and virtus pro will lose the second pistol round to envious so both ct teams kind of got themselves the pistol round on the board now, it is the question if NVS can hold the terrorists at bay, especially with that heavy investment that Virtus Pro went for. Neo with the AK, uh, two Tech 9s, a CZ 75, NP250 for the squad of um, Virtus. And NVS with uh, three MP7s and a Nova. They are actually in the less favored position in my opinion, even though the MP7s are fully automatic, the Tech 9s can just push you down into an awkward position and then kill you off together. And there it is, near with the first opening frag, AK to the um, body of Apex, following up that spray with a good amount of damage. Now the CT is trying to come back in the round, sending Kiyoshima into boiler room, but he will spot himself the target onto Pasha. Taz with the refrag, no Tech 9 to the head. 4v3 evolving. Virtus Pro is still in control of this round. NVS is forced back into defensive positions. Kenny S is holding on to Graveyard right now, while um, it is happy over in the rotation area. And MBK at the B bomb site. Virtus Pro will fake the B bomb site go they will keep one play over there it is Nas at has with the Nova combining the two words Nas with the Tova and Kenny S with the frag onto Neo dispatching of the AK and holding onto the A bomb site trying to slow down his enemies Bialy and Snacks will not allow that to happen they get themselves the frags and NBK is alone on the rotation against three terrorists two of them have the guns and he finds himself one target but the the rest of the terrorists are not actually getting themselves into position yet. Taz will be disposed of, but as I said already, he did not really have the important gun in his hand. So he was the expendable player, but his pro focus on their two remaining players to have the good ambush and crossfire setup with Snacks sitting at the balcony and Bialy holding on to short. So they have the best possible crossfire in a 2v1 situation. And MBK will even go down to Snacks in the end as he was exiting the bomb site. He found himself the easy frag. 10 to 7 in favor of Envia still, but Virtus Pro managed to upset the, the CTs in the second round by thanks to the bomb plan that it got in the first round. So never underestimate the chances that a bomb plan can generate for a terrorist squad so if if you're able to do that keep them from planting envious on a save right now or a cz 75 buy with one p254 happy and a deagle for kiyoshima they stack the a bomb with four players where this pro will take it slow and that was a rhyme maybe it should be a rapper Maybe I was a rapper in my previous life, I don't know. But Virtus definitely knows that there is nobody around on the top of Banana, so they will get themselves into the tucked in position. Let the other players over at the A bomb side work on that side. And then they will try to figure out where to go and where that stack is. They definitely expect a stack, otherwise it wouldn't be as slow as they are right now. And they once again send Taz in the expendable so to speak they dropped the bomb actually snacks went all the way back towards the bottom of banana to drop the bomb over there and now joins his teammates on the b split Virtus pro is actually going for the cheeky strategy in one of the lesser uh, rounds one of the least important rounds in the game right now but they don't want to risk anything so they want to check out the b bombs before their players will run into that choke point and that's a wise decision to make even though they will go down to mbk pastor burns alive uh, burns mbk alive and kenny has with another frag for the cts making it 
the 3v4. And the CTs could actually get their hands onto some rifles there. Kishima still holding the Deagle at CT spawn. Scares the terrorists into the deep parts of the map. As Biali holds us down Apex, he relieves some of the pressure on the terrorist's shoulders. And Kenny S and company are still around the bomb site. They can definitely um, deny the exit to the terrorists, if not win the round. Kiyoshima and Kenny S will combine to make it a 2v1. They really need to hurry up to get the defuse on the board, though. And they will get the frag, and they will probably just get the defuse in time. It will... Oh, well, they won't get it. It was a little bit premature to call it. They will get the defuse, but the bomb wasn't ticking that fast when Kenny S started to defuse. But, you know, there is a certain second um certain part of the of the ticking some phases you know it gets faster and faster and there is like a three second that it ticks slowly then it ticks faster and faster and it was to the very end of that slow ticking phase that made Kenny S think that he could still go for it but he realized okay it now started ticking very fast just as i started to defuse so um, he backed off from the bomb. Still a very good effort by Envious to eliminate the terrorists and make them um, fully buy up again. So the money that Virtus Pro saved up from the previous rounds is almost completely gone. They didn't even have the chance to save up that, um, that much money um, with only three rounds in the second half being played. So Envious go for um, the Deagles for the players that didn't save their stuff from the previous round and they tried to go for another stack initially now they are disposing of that stack again kenny s is still holding on to archway they expect another archway push by virtus pro with two players on top of banana it could be the perfect play to make happen again snacks with the shot onto kenny s now cz 75 by happy on the head of snacks but taz with a reply 3v4 the ct still have mbk with the deagle he puts passer down to 13 hp rings off another shot onto biali takes him down to 60 and he still is alive now he goes down to Taz and even though Nia has some trouble against Apex who ambushed him he still gets himself the frag so 10 to 9 Virtus Pro are closing the gap to the Frenchmen who are just now able to get their hands onto decent rifles so we are in the fifth round of the second half and we are um, just now to witness the first rifle round in the second half so it is kind of a war of attrition. Team Envious need to get this round on the board. Otherwise, Virtus Pro will draw it and most likely even go for the 11 to 10 lead in this half. So the polls will start off completely different compared to their Envious counterparts. The Frenchmen started off with a lot of A control, a lot of middle play and a lot of apartment control. Thanks to NBK's awesome entry frags, they had a uh, they had an easy time to collect control of apartments. While Virtus Pro is going for banana control right now. NBS is staying back on the A bomb side. They are not going for any, any information. So the rotation will be very, very slow and very late. But the Frenchmen can't really go for a rotation yet. They still don't know how many players are on top of the banana. So they need to stay. Oh, Happy! What is going on with him? Kading that, that just many patched on to Pasha. Partly through the smoke and just through the edge of the corner. Taz will make up for that with another smoke shot onto Happy. But Bialy's down to 3 HP already. And if he catches one bullet whatever weapon he could actually be killed by a few nades if he hits enough of them and mbk is still on top of the cause being prepared for the push going for another 180 degree shot even though it doesn't happen for him apex is there to collect the frags and nvs is able to hold on to the bomb site thanks to mbk's delay play and also by happy's shot that obviously stunned the terrorists for a second they didn't really know what was going on where the shot is coming from and um nvs is able to get themselves the second round of this half on the board now they need to s stick a few rounds together to make it a decent amount of rounds in a row so they can get some money and Virtus Pro on the other side they don't worry about the money they worry about the amount of rounds they have on the board they go for three AKs and the Tech 9 and the P250 they figure that this is still the best chance that they get playing off of the economy of Envious trying to force the CTs on a save or keeping their economy as low as possible while getting bomb plants here and there to squeeze out a few AKs it shouldn't happen or Happy with a double kill on top of Banana will diminish the hopes of the Polish squad. Even though they are able to pick up the two AKs that got dropped by their teammates, 
they are down two men and they need to find an opening on the CT's um, on the CT's defense. Snacks is casually trying to fake the B bombs it. It actually forces a brief rotation, forces Kenny S to leave his position, but he's back in position just in time to receive Taz and to get that flashbang by Kiyoshima. Good teamwork by the two Frenchmen. Kiyoshima with the headshot onto Snacks while near disposes of Kenny S. It's a 2v4 situation with 30 seconds on the clock. Look at the CTs surrounding the terrace right now. It is all up to Taz against the rest of the CTs, and MBK will not allow him to get away with his life. Good job by Envious to maintain um, that two-man advantage that they gained and not throw it away even though snacks faked kind of faked the b-bomb side and even though neo briefly got a frag for the virtus pro squad envious will cement their space at the top their um pole position and get themselves three rounds between them and virtus pro who are now on a safe round and kenny s will open up as if he had an awp and if he was jw he gets himself the two frags with the rifle kiyoshima is there to support his teammate and it will collapse on the terrorists just completely sweep the floor with bodies on a second mid leaving snacks alone as the last man standing and he tries to get the bomb plan at least it's his only hope Happy is, uh, MBK is there, however, and he is a master of single holding a bomb site, just showing his skills, even though Snacks didn't have any equipment or any decent rifle. Um, MBK still um, managed to control the fight throughout the start. 25 frags now for NBK in just 22 rounds. So it's more than one frag every single round. And the majority of those frags have been on the terrorist side, opening up rounds left and right for Envious. So they definitely need to tap NBK's shoulder after this game. On the other side, we have 23 for Neo, doing the same that um, that NBK is able to do for his squad, but slightly less effective for Virtus Pro right now. 13 to 9, four rounds. Virtus Pro need to win this round. They need to get it on the board desperately because NBS is about to get too much point. And when the Frenchmen hit that, the chances of them giving it away to Virtus Pro are really slim. Even though. Fnatic managed to come back against NVS. I think they have learned their lesson and I think that it's a different story on LAN or on LAN than it is on the online matches. Virtus Pro will go for a poke into the A bomb side right now. They are not fully committed yet. They will reset their positions and then go for a second wave. They will or they would try to make NVS believe that, oh, they only faked the A-bomb, so let's go for a quick B rotation. But now it is actually the A execution. Neo is there taking point with his squad as they're going to wrap around the A-bomb. So Neo doesn't finish off. Now he finishes off Kiyoshima. Had some trouble on the recoil control. Happy and Apex though with two frags for the CTs. Now Pasha comes in through the smoke and disposes off Happy to make it a 2v3. The bomb has not been planted yet. They need to collect the bomb. 14 seconds on the clock. But it's real good. Give this round away. MBK comes in with the double kill from behind nine seconds for snacks to clutch this round a molotov cocktail will force him to get to a very uncomfortable position but actually he managed to make it a comfortable position to plan in as he just gets the c4 down in time he didn't spot mbk but now he does and he will clutch the very very close round that envy has managed to claw back into with uh, MBK coming up with a double kill and overall well played by the cts to slow down with pro as much as they did Partly thanks to the bomb being dropped in that position, which makes it really hard for the terrorists to get their hands onto if you have a CT coming in from that or that area. And especially with one player in pit, it's almost impossible to get the C4 back. But it's probably still managed to do it thanks to Snacks, who strafed away from the Molotov cocktail and then got himself the more important frag against NBK as well. So, but it's pro won't allow NVS to get to the 14th round yet, but they are on a force by thanks to uh, NVS taking it down to a 1v1 situation, but his pro's money is not looking good. P90 for Pasha, Tech 9 for Taz, and NVS on the other side have so much money they can donate some to me maybe to you or to virtus pro as well and it would still be rich awp for kenny is still in play and the frenchman will go for the 
almost default setup they have three players close to a short one player in ct spawn and as always it is nbk holding on to the b bomb site calling it for the rotation from his teammate from his in-game leader happy is there to support him as well as possible against a possibly four man push into the b bomb site 30 seconds on the clock vitus pro need to commit there is no other way taz is the kind of the distraction on the a bomb site just firing off a few shots on middle makes the CTs rotate towards A long and now they are on the full rotation towards B but it's pro entering the bomb site MBK is not able to get himself the first frag and the CTs will slow them down happy gets himself the double onto Neo and Taz Bialy gets a refrag but MBK is still in the back of the bomb site and the 30 bullets are just enough to get the frag onto Pasha Snacks is still not finished though he takes down Apex and he's running out of time as he goes down to Snacks uh, to Kenny S Snacks was running out of time. He was trying to get away and save his rifle, but Kenny has had his number and made it 14 to 10. Envious within reach of two rounds to finish off this first map. It is their map pick. Keep that in mind. And they managed to win the first half 9 to 6, as you can see yourself. 28 frags now for MBK, 25 and 22 for Neo and Snacks. Seemingly the only players to put up a fight on Virtus Pro. Taz and Pasha on 9 and 7 frags, not even in double figures right now. But you never know when they will step up. Maybe they can do it on the second map. Maybe in those last rounds, Virtus Pro still have a force by coming up with a few CZ 75s, or actually a few Tech 9s and P250s, and one CZ 75 for Bialy, who has slowed down in a long Apex, gets flashed, pushes through the smoke. It's a reasonable play to make, and he gets himself a double kill, a triple, with only those few bullets that the USP at uh, the M4 has. He still goes down to Pasha, however, and he's stepping it up. As I said, you never know when those great Great players come back into a round. Now Happy eats an A down to 72 HP. And they will smoke him off as well. Go for the risky play. Pasha exposes himself to the rifles of both players. And Happy and MBK will collapse on the terrorists from both sides. Good retake by um, Happy and MBK to come in from both different directions into the A bomb site. There are barely any angles that you can take um, without exposing him to at least one of those two players. And it was well played by NBS 15 to 10 right now for the Frenchman. Vitus Pro will go for the force buy. Obviously, it is match point five of them for envy pasha with the ak and um, with the ak in bomb of banana looking for an early frag but kenny s will get that early frag in boiler room on the a bomb side quickly falling back to take control of a long possibly rotating towards b actually as um once ct is moving back into ct spawn they could swap position and completely throw virus pro off but it looks like envy will favor a three-man stack over at a one player in CT spawn and as always NBK inside the B bomb site. So Virtus Pro slowly but surely creeping forward. They're still reliant on Pasha to get those frags with the AK. They sent Taz forward to take point right now and Pasha is flashed to death. He's still slowing down. NBK still alone on the B bomb site. Pasha is still trying to set up that first frag but the Virtus Pro didn't spot anyone at all so they're backing off from A they will take it towards B NBK is still hanging out there and his four CT team members are on the rotation he doesn't even need it he goes to work on the first and the second with the Molotov and the, and the rifle spray Pasha with one refrag but it now it's Taz alone with the C4 that he just picked up 15 seconds on the clock he knows that there is CTs close by he can't really waste any more time but he has to waste the time to take them out and that's when Kenny is capitalizes on the situation and takes him out 31 frags in favor of nbk on the first map great performance by him and envious over